Hi, this is Toby with HMC Electronics. In this video, we are going to be going over the specific parameter settings for the FR810. If you're looking for a general overview of the FR810, we do have a video for that. It is on our channel and also linked to below. But we're going to dive right in, go into kind of the inner workings and the whistles and bells of the Hakko FR810. We're going to take a look at the parameter menu for the FR810. So this gives you all of the additional features, auto sleep, auto off, things like that. So let's just jump in. The way that you do this is you press the up arrow while it's turned off. Turn it on. So the first parameter we are going to look at, 0, 1, is temperature in either Fahrenheit or Celsius. Select which you prefer. So let's do Fahrenheit, hit the star, it selects and backs out. The next setting, parameter 7. This is the auto sleep mode. Uh, so, in this instance, when you are done with an application and you put the pencil back in the holder, if parameter 7 is turned on, the unit will go into a sleep. The heating element will shut down, the air will continue to blow to cool down the heating element, but the heating element will shut off. So if you have an application where you only may be putting the handle back every few minutes, you'll want that on. If you might be constantly putting it down and picking it up and putting it down and picking it up, you're going to want that sleep mode off. Parameter 8 is your auto shut off after 30 minutes. If parameter setting is set to 1, that means on, after 30 minutes the unit will power down completely. Parameter 11 is your normal or preset mode. So normal mode you'd be able to adjust the temperature, adjust the airflow as you go through. In the preset mode you can scroll through preset 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that's your, your mode of selection as you hit the up and down arrows, is scrolling through those different uh, radio presets, if you will. Parameter 14 is your password setting. If you do want to have lockout functionality on this unit, if you want to be able to set up a password so that your operators cannot change anything in the system, uh, parameter 14 is where you'll be looking for that. We already talked about the uh, shutoff feature, the shutoff feature, turning off the unit after 30 minutes. If you have that shutoff feature, uh, which was parameter 8 turned on, through 18, you can actually make it so, yes, it will shut off, but instead of having it turn off at 30 minutes, I want it to turn off at 45 or 60 minutes. So this kind of gives you a, a better way of drilling down what your shutoff feature is. Parameter 20 is a little bit of a, an unusual one. So parameter 20 is to do with the timer and the two timing options. You've got open timing or closed timing. On your open timing, the unit will start to tick down. That is to say, if you say I want it to, as the profile, I want it to be 100 seconds at once it hits this temperature. And when you do this in the open timing, it won't start that timer until the unit has hit full temperature. On closed timing, it will start to tick down that 100 second clock as soon as you hit the start button. We already talked about how when this tool is put back into the cubby and the heating element shuts off, and uh, the air will continue to flow. Option 21, parameter 21, gives you the option of saying, I do or do not want that. If you have this unit at a high temperature though, you are going to want this setting on, and by default it is on. You are not going to want a 800 or 900 Fahrenheit heating element being put back in this cubby and that airflow not going over it. So uh, really, by default, it's set for on, and for the majority of applications, you are going to want that to be left in its default mode. Parameter 22 is what makes this unit significantly better than the FR802. If you really were to look at it without this setting, uh, it would be very similar to the FR802. Parameter 22, when active, enables you to daisy chain your five presets. And if you think about that, what that enables you to do is you could build a reflow profile by setting five steps of reflow. And if this setting is set on or open, the unit will go through profile one, profile two, three, four, and it will build a complete rework profile on a $750 unit. That's amazing. Well, I hope you learned everything you wanted to know about the inner workings of the Hakko FR810. If you want to take a tour of the FR810 as a more overview, uh, there is a link to it below. Check out the other videos on our channels, which are for other soldering related supplies, static control, as well as inspection products. Thank you very much for watching, and happy soldering.